So here I am back in my classroom and I've already spent my time in that first video learning how to create this and how to add people. And I have my two, my couple tabs that start at the beginning. That stream tab is gonna show me all of the activity for this class, right? It's gonna show me anything that I've already put out there or any assignments that I've already put out there and any responses from students that might be that might need to be addressed, right? Super simple place for that communication to happen. The really important tab for us is going to be that classwork tab. In this classwork tab, this is where I create and assign my assignments to my students. Now, once I'm in it, it's really simple for me to do. I hit this create button and I do assignment. I have the option to create an assignment, a quiz assignment, a simple question, a material, or reuse a post from a different class. I also have that option at the bottom to do a topic. I could add a topic for discussion. Um, so if we have different units, it could be like unit one. I would love to dive into these a little bit later, but for the purpose of getting up and off the ground with Google Classroom, the one thing I wanna show you how to do is create a simple assignment. So here's my simple assignment and I have to fill in some information. First, I have to add a title. Once I have a title, it gives me the option to actually assign this to students. Next, I can add instructions. I can keep it super simple and make it really clear without any jargon on what needs to happen and in what order it should be addressed. Instructions provide my students that opportunity to know a little bit more about the assignment without asking you specifically. Then I have the option to add different things. In a Google Classroom, you can add a lot of different things to share with your kids in different ways. First, you have a Google Drive. You can add anything from your Google Drive to share with kids. So if you want to have them look at a slideshow, Boom, put it up there, they can look at it. If you want them to link to a website outside of the internet, you can do that as well. You can also link to a file like a photograph that you don't have on Google Drive, and you can also put YouTube videos up, which is really, really awesome when you think about it because now you can share those quickly and easily with your kids. Now, that is super simple. If I wanted to add a Google Drive file, I just click on Google Drive, and it's gonna pull up my recent one. So anything that I may have worked on recently is going to be here. And we'll put this one up here because it is a distance classroom learning, right? Once I do that, I have a couple different options here. I have the options to allow students to view a file. If that's a slideshow or something for my class. That's a really good option. I have the option to give kids to edit the file. So if I'm working on a big collaborative project. I can do that. I also can make a copy for each individual student, which is also super powerful when it comes to that because now I just created a template to send out to my kids so that their assignments look similar when they become turned in, right? So for this purpose, I'm just gonna do the view. Over here, I can assign it to different classes. So if I want everybody to be able to see this, I can, and I just check those boxes. This is a new feature in Google Classroom that allows for people to do it. I can also set up groups. Now, currently I don't have any students in this class, but if I did, I would have all of my students' names listed there. So if I took the time to kind of create um, the different files for kids, I could assign them to those kids based on what they needed in an RTI model. I can assign a point value, but that's not super important. I can also put a due date and add a topic. Um, those are all different things. You also have the option to create a rubric for how you're going to grade it. Once you have gone through and done all of these different things, you can quickly assign it there. Now, there's a couple different options when you go to assign. If you hit that assign right now, it's gonna notify anybody in your classroom that a new assignment has been posted. If you do the schedule or save draft, you have a couple different options. Schedule, I can say, hey, this is gonna go out Monday at 8 a.m. for all kids to see, or hey, I'm not ready to do this yet. I'm gonna save it as a draft and do that. I can also discard a draft if necessary. So I'm gonna click assign to show you what that's going to look like on that other end. So now that it's there, this is what that assignment looks like. And you can see that again, there's no due date, there's no topic, there's nothing. I can view that assignment and it goes me a little, it shows me a little bit more about who's turned it in and who hasn't. So it's kind of a super simple, easy way for us to look at these assignments and to kind of take a look and take uh, take stock of what is going on with that. If I go back to the stream page, you can see that now that's posted and it's gonna be what's on top. Think of the stream page like a stream and that uh, things are gonna, the oldest things are gonna flow further down the page, All right? Classwork is there. And again, that's a pretty straightforward way. So hopefully you're comfortable pushing those assignments out if you want to stick around, I'm going to create a short video to talk about what you can do with the different assignments as well. Thanks for tuning in. Have a wonderful day.